maybe you'd like to see how we make a pick card. I buy material in, okay, and what's nice about getting material in, you can get more than what you can just find. Uh, a lot of the Stu Mac pick guards are actually pixelated. This, as you can see, is got, you know, hold, hold it towards the camera, or this window. You can see you got this beautiful color. So, how do we make a pick guard? Well, I'm going to show you how to make a beveled, polished pick guard. And you're going to see that it really doesn't take all that, a lot of time. It's not that hard to do. I use two very simple tools, actually three, the bandsaw, a sharp nail, and a buffer. And I'm going to cut the pick guard shape right now. I'm going to take a nail, then I'm going to sharpen it much like a needle. So that is a very, very sharp, pristine point. Okay. We know that that shape is pretty close to what we want. And I'm just trying to see if there's a way I can save material because it's not that it's terribly expensive, but you don't like to waste money. I know that the radius was actually pretty close. I'm scoring a line, as you can see. All right. It's not hard. You can hear it cutting. The radius is close. Not perfect, but the radius is close enough that I can use that for the initial start. Now, in case you can't see it, I'm going to wiggle this around. Maybe you can pick up and see the scribe. Can you see the... All right. Next stop is at the bandsaw. Yes, I can... thing I'm going to do is put a bevel and somewhat of a final shape on it before we go to buff it. The first step that I'm doing is I'm roughly sanding to my scribe line. So can you see the scribe line there? Okay, and the next thing you're going to see is I'm going to pretty much take that line off. So you can see I left a little bit of the scribe line on there. Okay? Now, I'm going to take a look at my uh, diameter. I don't know how close you can get there. You can see I'm, I'm high here, almost perfect. From here down, I'm a little high. So...
Okay. To me, that's pretty, pretty good right now. Now I'm going to put a bevel on here. Simple. of the bevel. I just sanded it over roughly 45 degrees. When I lay that on there, that's pretty much matching where I need it to be on the radius. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a fresh razor blade. When you look at the bevel, you can see scratchy looking. It's not pretty. Okay. I can put my chisel marker up or down. To scrape these is simple. I just take a, shape, a sharp razor blade and I'm going to scrape this out a little bit. And you can see I, I want to have something that's going to support the edge reasonably well. And you're going to see that start going away. I'm also going to break over a little bit onto the plane. Now I want to make this a little bit more roundy. And I'm working at getting the sandpaper marks off. That's my, my main goal. All right? Now I put that right over there. I want to support that corner. I don't want to get that corner rounded over if I can help it. That, I think that just makes it look more pristine. All right. Now you can see how the difference went. Now, now I actually want to start rolling this over a little bit. Okay. What grit is that? This is 600 grit. And what I'm doing is I'm now trying to form the radius. We, we want a beveled, polished. And if you buy one of these in Grevin, you're going to pay an exorbitant amount. Now. Okay, the next step, we have to go upstairs to the buffer. So, you can see how much prettier that's starting to look now with the 600 grit starting to polish that off a little bit. We got the heavy uh, sanding marks out of it. Okay. You can see there's a little bit of mark here, but that will all disappear. Okay. This is my buffer. I have number 16 and number 18 Mazurna. You can see the wheel loading up. Before 
shiny. See how I'm moving the pick guard. I'm not moving the razor blade. That's a powered razor blade. Neato. And just peel the back when you need it. Yep. There you go. Well, that's nice, John. See that? Nice and shiny. Uh, I'll tell you what, they ain't that pretty. Now Shape on it before we go to Buffett. So, we tap two our bridges here. Super! Gold medal! Olympic pick tossing! Get your nails done too at the same time? Yes, can't you tell? <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, how do you glue this on to your top? I like to use 20 penny nails and then clinch them in through the bottom on the braces. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, they ain't that pretty. Now, I would, I'm going to pierce my ear. <laughs> oh, right's wrong. Here. I got to put it on this side. 